So here is my step-by-step -step how I'm creating a Expedia card. So first thing what I was doing is tear the old book pages and ink the edges and just glue them on a piece of paper. The next step is to add some texture with a texture page and a stencil. I'm using the Crafter Workshop stencil. I really love this one, the wording stencil. It's so, so pretty. Once the texture is dry, I'm going to add some clear gesso on top of my card. And now is the best part where we're going to play with colours. And I'm using Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. And my favourite set is under the broadwork. So let's see. I really love what I see here, this beautiful rainbow. This is just stunning. So we're going to wait for this to dry and then we're going to crack up with the next steps. And now I'm going to stick some lace, a piece of ball up, a crafting frame and some wooden wording. So let's create our composition and I'm using to glue everything gel mat from Pebel Studio Acrylics. And I also decided to use some chip pots here. This is a beautiful chip pot from Scrap Unions, manufactured from Poland. Some branches. So we're gonna stick them on as well. My next step is to do some random stamping. And I've chose my set from Prima Marketing, Fina by Design. Don't forget to fly. I'm gonna do some butterfly stampings. As you can see, I've added some self-adjustive um, stones from Papermania. Beautiful shiny stones. They look gorgeous on here, I think. Just stick them randomly here and there. And add some beautiful, beautiful flowers. Um, I don't have the brands for most of them, but this blue one here, this rose, it's a Prima Marketing, beautiful shiny rose, and beautiful, beautiful butterfly, magnetic butterfly, what I did use. Uh, I think it's really, really lovely, actually blending in here. And now the last step is to add some double side tape and stick our page onto the main card. And here we have it. Our card is ready. I hope you like it, because I really do. I actually love it. It's turned out so beautiful.